मीडिया मीडिया इज नथिंग बट द कम्युनिकेशन फॉर्म और कम्युनिकेशन ग्रुप सो व्हाट इज एच टी एम एल हाइपर टेक्स्ट मार्कअप लैंग्वेज इट्स अ मार्कअप लैंग्वेज नॉट प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज देर आर सर्टेन टाइम आई वॉन्ट टू गिव द ग्राफिकल इफेक्ट for that reason i am going to have the animation hello to all today i am here to discuss the new subject called multimedia animation and this subject is introduced by the mysore university for fourth sem bca student i am your revathi ma'am faculty from the department of computer science vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence mysore anyway dear student a warm welcome to my introductory class and in my today's class i'm going to deal with the concepts like prerequisites learning outcome as well as units internal pattern as well as external exam pattern anyway dear student let's start with the prerequisites before going to start with the prerequisites let me to explain what is multimedia so dear student multimedia media is nothing but the communication form or communication group and what kind of communication here i can have the video audio as well as text along with that i can have the animation for that reason it is called multimedia animation and which language is used to develop and design multimedia animations all those things we are going to study in the subject and to learn this subject i does not required any basic thing because we are going to study from this scratch that is what is html and how we can able to use html tag in my program and how i can able to create the animations forms frames as well as cascade style sheet along with that javascript all those things we are going to learn in this subject so i am going to start from the scratch so you does not required any information or any knowledge regarding multimedia animation okay fine you may get the questions like if i learn this subject then what is the outcome i am going to get so dear student in this subject we are going to study how to design the website okay when it is website it includes the web pages website is nothing but the collection of web page and what kind of web page i am going to develop as a static or as a dynamic okay and what kind of language i am going to use if i am developing static website then i'll go with the html if i'm going to develop dynamic website then i'll go with the javascript ajax etc but in this subject we are going to study only javascript as well as html5 and if i study this subject then what is the outcome i can expect i can become an independent web designer that is nothing but the website designer i can able to create my own website okay i can able to include my own ideas i can able to include canvas i can able to include animation even i can able to include cascade style sheet and i can able to develop independent website so create a well designed interactive website with respect to the current standards and practices so according to the current generation or according to the current 
word i can able to i can able to design stand alone web application or website and also it demonstrate in depth knowledge of an industrial standard multimedia development tools so dear student as i discussed multimedia is nothing but the communication platform okay when it is communication platform i can have the text i can have the video i can have the voice even i can have the audio even i can have the images and i want to include the animation according to the industrial standard as well as film industry okay fine now it also determines the approximate use of interactive versus stand alone application so user can able to develop stand alone application as well as interactive application so this is the outcome of the subject and if i consider the subject i have total 3 units how many units 3 units and each unit includes 2 to 3 chapter and if i consider first unit what is the name of the first unit that is web design in the sense what if i want to design my own website what are the basic thing i want to learn that one i am going to study in my first unit so as i discussed i'll start from the scratch so here i'm going to use html so what is html hypertext markup language it's a markup language not programming language and i'll start with the origin and evolution of html and what kind of basic html tags i want to include then i'll start with the syntax in the sense what how i can able to use html in my program and how to write the tags along with that basic text markup as well as how i can able to include images and how i can able to create ordered list how i can able to create the tables how i can able to create my own forms as well as frames and i'll also deal with html5 so these are the certain topic i'm going to deal in my first chapter and if i consider second chapter that is css so what is css here css stands for cascade style sheet and i am going to learn the different type of css along with that i can have the style specification format selector form property values forms font property list property colors alignments of text and spanning how i can able to divide the divide the frames all those things i'm going to learn in my second chapter and see here if i want to develop dynamic website then i must include javascript so in my third chapter i'm going to discuss what is javascript how to write the javascript and how to call the javascript all those things i'm going to discuss along with that i'm going to get some methods okay all those things i'm going to discuss in my third chapter and if i consider second unit see here i'm going to deal with the animation so what is animation i want to give the effects okay there are certain time i want to give the graphical effects for that reason i am going to have the animation and what kind of animation it is cascade style sheet animation 
and I'm going to deal with how to create simple animation and CSS animation property along with that I'll deal with the keyframes declaring multiple animations as well as wrap up all those things I'm going to deal in my first chapter. So dear student along with that I'm going to deal with the HTML5 SVG. So ES stands for scalar vector graphics and how I can able to include vector graphics in my website or in my web page. So here I'm going to deal with weaving SVG files embedding SVG in HTML in the sense what how I can able to include SVG in my HTML or in my HTML5 along with that I'm going to deal with how I can able to create circle polygons rectangle all those things using SVG so all these things we are going to study in our second chapter and what is the chapter name that is html5 svg scalar vector graphic and if i consider third unit under third unit i am going to study canvas so what is canvas if i want to include graphics in my web page or in my website then I must have the canvas okay and if I want to give attractive colors if I want to include attractive shapes then I'll go with the canvas and under this we are going to study the rendering context along with that what are the browser supports canvas Along with that HTML canvas example, canvas drawing in the sense by using canvas we can able to draw the rectangle, drawing paths, drawing lines, okay and we can able to draw the blazer, okay these are the certain topic we are going to discuss in our chapter 1, okay fine. Under chapter 2, we are going to have quadratic canvas. So, dear student, just remember canvas is mainly used graphics in our website or in our web page. Okay, fine. So, canvas using image, canvas creating guardians, HTML5 styles and colors canvas text and fonts all those things we are going to study under unit 3. Anyway dear student in my today's introductory class I won't give any depth information about all the concept. Okay anyway I'm going to deal all this topic one by one in my upcoming session. Anyway today you just Know that what are the things we are going to study in the subject and I am not going to discuss anything in depth. Okay fine. Now if I consider the internal question paper okay and how many internals you are going to get that is total 3 internals. Okay, in this semester, you are going to write three internals. In that, I am going to select any best, that is two. Okay, fine. And you may ask me for how many marks I am going to write the internals. So, I am going to write the internals only for 30 marks. And all the questions are for 10 marks? No. So, here... If I consider internal question paper pattern, see here part A and part B. Part A 10 mark question and part B 5 marks. Okay fine and under part A how many questions you are going to get? That is 3. So out of 3 how many questions? You want to answer that as 2. 
2 into 10, it is 20. Now, under part B, three questions. Okay, out of this, how many questions you have to answer? That is 2. 2 into 5, it is 10. So, 20 plus 10, it is 30 marks. So, what is the weightage of the internals? That is 30 marks. Now, if I consider question paper and we are going to write the final exam for 60 marks. How many marks? 60 marks. And you may ask me, is it only theory subject? No. We have theory as well as practical. And theory is only for 60 marks and practical is for 25 marks. Okay, fine. And if I consider 60 marks, I have part A and part B. See, in part A, 45 marks. In my part B, 15 marks. Total it is 60 marks. Now the question arises, how we are going to get the question from each unit and what kind of questions we can expect. So dear student, how many units we have? We have three units, unit 1, unit 2 and unit 3. From each unit, you can expect 20, 20 marks. So, the weightage of each unit is 20, 20 marks. So, unit 1, 20 marks. Unit 2, 20 marks. And unit 3, 20 marks. Okay, fine. Now, if I consider part A, it is 15 marks. I'm going to get the 15 mark question. And the question arises, is it complete 15 marks? No. This 15 marks is further divided into 10 plus 4 or 7 plus 8. Okay. So, unit 1, how many questions you can expect? 4. So, 1 question, 2 question, 1 question, 2 question and there is or. Either I want to answer first part. Uh, that is first half full question or second half full question. And under unit 2, same pattern. Unit 3, same pattern. Okay, so from each unit, you have to answer one main question. And that carries 15 marks. That is further divided into 10 plus 4 or 7 plus 8. Okay, fine. Then if I consider part B, okay, here you will be having five questions. You will be having five questions, okay. And what is the weightage of each question? It is five marks. And you need to answer any three. You need to answer any three out of five. So five into three, it is 15. So when I add 45 plus 15, it is total and we are going to have practicals only for 25 marks. Okay, fine. Now, if I want to master in this subject, what I want to do or which Bible I want to refer. So, dear student, if you want to master in this subject, you have to refer the textbook that is the complete reference HTML and CSS and the edition here is fifth edition and the author name here is Thomas A. Powell. Okay and which year edition you have to refer that is 2017. This is the textbook you have to refer to be master in this subject. Anyway, dear student, let's meet in the next session with the concept class. Until that, keep watching and keep learning. Thank you and take care.